Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my, it's not Thursday Night Live, I'm not used to going live on Wednesday. Welcome to my live video. We are talking about color today. I'm so excited because my Stampin' Up! annual catalog pre-order arrived and I have new colors to share with you. As you know, Stampin' Up! is doing a bit of a color refresh and so we have some colors that are retiring and we're so sad about this, but we've got brand new colors that we can get excited about. Tune in on Sunday if you want to see some projects featuring retiring colors. Mom and I are going to talk more about that, but do not wait to stock up on your favorites because the last chance list includes ink pads, cardstock, refills, and they are all being discontinued. The color on my last chance list are things that are on sale. I am updating and marking out things that are sold out, so be sure to update up, download the most recent version. Um, oh, that's weird. This isn't the most recent version. I did update it again today. Um, I'll include the link in the video description when we're all done. We're not going to talk about last chance stuff today, except just to say things are selling fast. So make sure you get your favorites and you can shop in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop with the host code A-T-G-T-K-R-S-6 if your order is under $150. Now, if you don't normally shop with me, if you order $50 or more this month, I will send you a copy of the catalog when I send all the others, um, which is happening in... I gotta get my taxes done first. <laughs> so in two weeks, I will start getting the catalogs mailed. Taxes first, then catalogs. Watch for it mid-April. They will be coming from me. Um, I forgot to do my mailing selector. Um, so watch for that coming soon if you shop with me. And if you don't already shop with me, shop with me so you can get yours. Today, we're not talking about the retiring colors. We're talking about the brand new colors. And I will show you comparisons of the new colors with some current and retired colors so you can see how they compare um, and get a better feel for how they're going to fit into your own personal collection. Now, I know that... Um, Customers can't order from the new catalog. You cannot order these new colors until um, May 2nd when the catalog launches. However, I know that many of the people who follow me are demonstrators and they have the opportunity right now to pre-order all the new colors that I'm going to show you plus other new product, which I'll share tomorrow. And so really this video is for everyone, <laughs> but especially if you're thinking about putting in a pre-order and you're trying to figure out what colors to order, I hope that this is helpful. If you're not a demonstrator yet, it is a really great time to be a demonstrator because you can get new catalog pre-order items in your starter kit. That's super exciting. So if you'd like to learn more, let me know. I'll include a link in the video description when we're all done with more information. There's not a starter kit special right now, but it's always a great deal. And to be able to get new stuff in your starter kit, um, I think is the best, the best deal of all. Well, we're going to start with the new in colors. If you're not familiar with Stampin' Up! Um, welcome. <laughs> but we have in colors every year. So there's five new colors and these are um, colors that are um, sort of temporary. So we've got our core color collection, which is this. And then we have the in colors, which there are five new colors and they stick around for two years. And so we've got one that's um, coming in and one's going out every year. Um, and it's sort of just to keep up with color trends and, um, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm really excited about this year's in colors. I know some of you are like not so sure because they seem kind of muted but these colors are my jam these are very earthy colors um, and so we're going to start with the in colors and then we're going to go to the core color collection all the new and returning colors I'm going to show you all of those so first up we have the in colors copper clay wild wheat boho blue moody mauve and pebbled path and one thing we were not sure about was how these colors are showing up on my printout and i guess we're gonna find out right now <laughs> um my printout is a little a little muted i'd say because the colors in person are so so beautiful Ooh, moody mauve i've seen some of you say that 
um, you have no desire to have mauve again, that you had enough mauve in the 80s. <laughs> so here are the 2023 to 2025 in colors, copper clay, wild wheat, boho blue, moody mauve, and pebbled path. I love the way these colors look together. I think they're beautiful and I cannot wait to play some more. Uh, but I think that this is true always of colors is that um, the more you play with them and the more you see them in person, um, the more you grow to love them. I think every year there's always some hesitancy about the in colors and if I'm going to like them, how I'm going to use them. And then once I dig in, like... I don't want to give them up. <laughs> we'll have these in colors for two years until 2025. Leave a comment right now. Let me know on initial look, which of these colors is your favorite? Which of these colors do you feel like you're probably going to lean more towards or that you're drawn to? If you're a blue person, the boho blue is gorgeous. Um, a neutral pebble path is really beautiful. The copper clay uh, might be my favorite. Um, it reminds me of Cajun Craze, and I'm going to show you how it compares to that. Um, and I don't know, I really love the moody mauve. I know some of you think it's kind of a dated color, but um, I think everything old is new again. Not that mauve is old, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so leave a comment. I love seeing that. Oh, boho blue. I'm seeing quite a few boho blues coming th through. Um, many boho blues. Yes, I do think that it is probably the most um, versatile color. What's the word I'm looking for? Accessible. It's the most accessible color. The color I think that we're more drawn to because it's more um, neutral and will go with some of the other colors that we love. The thing I like about these in colors is that they are so different from our current color collection. I feel like they really fill a lot of holes and gaps in our color collection. And so I think that they're really special because of that. Well, let's dig in. We're going to take a look at the colors one at a time. And I'm going to show you how they compare with other colors that you know and love. Retired and current. So let's start with wild wheat. Um, hopefully the colors are coming through okay on um, on the camera. I know sometimes that can be challenging. Well, let's take a look at uh, Wild Wheat with Crushed Curry. Um, so this is a current yellow color that we have in our Regal collection, and it does carry over. And so you can see that next to Crushed Curry, Wild Wheat definitely has a bit more green in it. And... Um, it's a, it's a darker color, like it almost looks olive-ish next to the crushed curry. Um, I pulled out some retired colors, and honestly, they're mostly yellow. So we've got Bumblebee, which retired recently. How about more mustard? <laughs> oh my gosh, delightful Dijon. We thought that one kind of looked like... Um, baby poop but now wild wheat i think is the winner on that um here is summer star fruit and special shout out to um jilda for um hooking me up with this sample summer star fruit is a retired in color from a few years ago and i think it might be the closest one to wild wheat but you can see in this comparison that summer star fruit is a lot brighter and wild wheat is definitely more um darker and like I said I think very earthy I think these in colors are very earthy so definitely wild wheat is a color that is very unlike other colors that we've had before you know what I should have pulled out was old olive let's do that right now do I have one okay here is old olive yikes <laughs> Um, so Old Olive almost looks garden green next to Wild Wheat. Um, it's definitely more of a yellow um, than a green. But um, now I'm curious. Here's like garden green. So yeah, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to pull out a bunch of colors. I think that hopefully this has given you kind of a good idea of Wild Wheat. It really is so much different. Um, than the other colors that we have. So Old Olive, I'm. you guys want to see the greens, don't you? <laughs> old Olive, Garden Green. Um, how about Mossy? Mossy Meadow. Um, I mean, like, it, it's just so, it's so, so different. Than, I, I really do think of it more of a, as a yellow than a green. Um, so this was Old Olive, Garden Green, and Mossy Meadow. Yeah, okay, very, very different. I'm really digging, uh, really digging this, um, this wild wheat. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is Copper Clay. 
Okay, so here's copper clay. They look so nice together, don't they? Copper clay, I thought, okay, how close is this going to be to Cajun craze? Well, copper clay is definitely got more brown. It's more earthy, more muted. And so then I thought maybe um, cinnamon cider might be close to that. But cinnamon cider definitely is more brown. This is a retired in color. Um, and so the copper clay definitely has more of that reddish tint that you would think of in like terracotta. Um, and then the other color I pulled out in special thanks, special shout out to Lisa for hooking me up with this one today, Really Rust. That's an old color. And honestly, Really Rust is a lot brighter than I remembered it being. I thought it was going to be pretty close to copper clay, but copper and Really Rust are very different. Um, now you might be wondering, and I'm going to kind of pull this one out early and show you. We have a new brown in the core color collection called Pecan Pie. So here is Pecan Pie. And sneak peek, that's what pecan looks like next to cinnamon cider. Uh, but pecan pie and copper, play, copper clay are very different colors. Here's Cajun Craze, which is a current color. So pecan pie is definitely more brown. Copper clay's got that red in it. And Cajun Craze is definitely a lot deeper, darker, more intense of a orangey red color. Okay, hopefully that helps you out a little bit there. Copper clay, again, I think a very unique color. Really excited to have this one in our, in our color family. Okay, our next color that we're going to do is, let's do boho blue next. Okay, so boho blue <laughs> looks so bright next to those other colors. Um, boho blue... I pulled out, I just kind of pulled out a whole bunch. So I'm going to start with Marina Mist. Do you guys remember that one? One of my favorite ones. Boho Blue is more of a, um, oh, mm, not so bright, more, more muted. So how about bro Brocade Blue? That's an older one too. And um, I feel like these two are very dated and Boho Blue is kind of a, a more current, more modern um, blue in those tones. Um, one of the colors that's coming back is Misty Moonlight, and this is exciting. This is going to be in the neutrals in the core color collection. Um, oh, Terracotta Tile, that was a good one. Sorry, I just saw the comment. Um, let's go through Boho Blue, and I'll bring out um, Terracotta Tile with the um, copper clay so you can see. I don't have Dusty Durango. If anyone has a piece of Dusty Durango, um, please send it to me. Um, okay, Boho Blue... So Misty Moonlight, a lot darker. It's going to be such a beautiful pairing with those two. Uh, Bordering Blue is another old one. These are like when I first started 20 years ago. Uh, Seaside Spray is actually one that I pulled out. This is a rec more recent in color. A lot lighter than um, the Boho Blue. Let me move these over. A lot lighter than the Boho Blue, but... I think goes nicely. Boho blue, I think, would be like a shade darker. Um, and then some other blues. We've got balmy blue, which is a current blue color, and bashful blue, which is an older blue, and soft sky, which is an older blue. Okay, so very different from those. These are the two current ones. Boho blue, seaside spray is older. So I hope Hopefully this gives you kind of a good feel for boho blue, bordering blue. Gosh, it's just so gray. <laughs> um, do you have these old ones? <laughs> I, 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 I don't have any. I just have like a scrap and um, it's so funny to kind of see see them it just feels some of them just feel so dated all right so boho blue with the current balmy blue and misty moonlight i think are going to be beautiful together the older seaside spray just looks totally washed out so boho blue truly a beautiful blue i think you're really going to love using it it is on the lighter side you know it's not like as dark as misty moonlight but it pairs really beautifully with misty moonlight i think a great monochromatic pairing there okay let's take a look at um, the copper clay, let me pull out the terracotta tile. Um, I don't remember which pile it's in. I think it might be in this pile. Yep, there it is. Okay, how about Calypso Coral too? Okay, so Cal Calypso Coral, terracotta tile, they're actually pretty similar to each other, aren't they? Uh, but there it is up next to the copper clay. So they're very more pink, much, much brighter than the copper clay. 
Okay, you guys were asking about that one. Um, oh, you want to see Pool Party with Boho Blue. Um, I have Pool Party pulled out to show you with a different color. Let me dig it really quick. Pool Party. Whoa. <laughs> so, so different. I feel like Boho Blue is such, so much more of a, like a true blue next to Pool Party, which just looks really light and almost green next to the Boho Blue. Okay, um, let me let me bring in really quickly. I'm gonna put this back in the rotation for later. Lost Lagoon is a returning color, part of the core collection, and so it's definitely a lot more green than Boho Blue. Um, but that's how those two compare. Okay, moving right along in our in colors, our next one we're gonna talk about is Moody Mob. And this is one I feel like is so different than the colors that we've had before. Um, and so I wasn't even really sure what to pair it with, but let's take a look with what I picked out. The first one that came to mind was Rococo Rose. That's a recent in color. It was along with Seaside Spray. And so you can see the Moody Mob has more blue in it, uh, more have like a almost a purple hint so um very different from rococo rose or i, I mean i think very different like they're still <laughs> they're still kind of you know um dusty pinks um but i think much more a lot more blue in there well i thought maybe we could compare it also to perfect plum um which is definitely more purple than moody mob so maybe like <laughs> somewhere in between like if these two had a color baby it would be moody mob um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's all I pulled out to compare to Moody Mob because I just felt like it was so different um, than so many other colors. I have some other pinks. Let's look at this one. Rose Red. Maybe you guys have that one. I'm going to bring it back out when we look at Berry Burst. But Rose Red, maybe the, the next closest one, but definitely more um, pink and um, more, more red <laughs> than Moody Mob. Um, yeah, definitely Moody Mob is a lot darker than Rococo. Um, and I do think it is such a pretty color. I know you guys are not so sure about Mob, but I, I really think it's beautiful. And I really think it fits into a, a huge gap in our color collection. I feel like we don't have anything similar because both of these colors that I showed you, those are both retired. We don't have that. So this is this is different. This is a lot different than um, than any of the other colors that we have right now. All right, the last in color for 2022-2023 is Pebbled Path. Aren't these colors so beautiful together? <laughs> I really love that. Okay, well, let's take a look at Pebbled Path because you're probably wondering how does it look next to Basic Gray. It is definitely more brown than Basic Gray, but I feel like it's got the same kind of tone. It's on the same level. It just is a little bit more brown. How is it going to go with Gray Granite? Quite beautifully, I think. Um, there is Gray Granite. Here's Smoky Slate, which has more of the the black in it more i think in the gray whereas pebbled path it leans more brown um so sad that we are getting rid of sahara sand um but there is sahara sand next to pebbled path and gray granite gray granite is so perfect with pebbled path um here's an older one you guys might have this one um tip top taupe that is an old in color and definitely is more, um, would you say more brown, um, lighter? I don't know. I, I much prefer the gray granite with pebble path over the tip top taupe, but you could put that in there too, I guess. Um, and then we have some crumb cake, definitely a much lighter um, brown there. Um, and, oh, these are going to go with the pecan pie. I got, I'm getting all my things mixed up here. I'll show you really quick, but they're not, they're not anywhere close. Early espresso, soft suede, baked brown sugar, definitely more of the browns. We're going to compare that to pecan pie. So I'm going to put them back over there. But pebbled path, again, I think a very unique color. Let's get rid of these older, well, crumb cake is current, but it's, um, it's, it's not even close to pebbled path. Okay, so um, here are three current colors and how they will go with Pebbled Path, but I do think they're also very different than Pebbled Path, and so I'm excited to have Pebbled Path. Um, someone says deep olive green. Let's take a look at the olive green. Wow! <laughs> 
So definitely a lot more brown than olive green. Um, this, this is old olive that I have in the front. It looks so bright. You're probably thinking, are you sure that's not granny apple green, Julie? But I'm positive it is not. <laughs> Here's granny apple green, even brighter. <laughs> um, so old olive is really nowhere close to pebbled path. Um, all right, that is the 2023, 2025 in colors. We're going to go through the core colors next. But before we do that, I want to show you quickly the new marker design. And I just realized I forgot to grab them. I'm just going to step into um, the room right next to where I am and grab the markers so I can show you. Because Stampin' Up! has redesigned the Stampin' Write markers, and they are lovely. So hold on just a second. Okay. All right. So we've got our in color pack of markers. And I will tell you if you're a demonstrator and you can order right now, you can also order the new color collection uh, markers. You can get just the new core colors. You can get the new brights, the new regals, the new subtles. And I will tell you what I did and you can do whatever you want. But I decided to wait on the Stampin' Write markers for the core color collection because I plan to get the big one, the many marvelous markers. Um, I plan to get that or just um, the individual color families later on. But if you get the whole color collection, the many marvelous markers, you save 10% on all the markers. And so I decided just to hold off on all the core colors and I only got the in color markers right now. It's really important <laughs> to budget your pre-order. I know demonstrators that it's really hard because we just want it all right now. And, um, and it's probably very deceiving that I am showing you so much in the next couple days, but I'm going to let you in on a little not so secret. <laughs> I recently hit a million dollars, as you know, and personal sales back in November, um, which is a very rare thing that very few demonstrators do. Um, I was number 67 out of all the demonstrators in the history, 35 years history of Stampin' Up! So it's, it's like a very rare accomplishment, I'm supposed to say that. Um, when you hit a million dollars in personal sales, when you hit that milestone, Stampin' Up! gives you bonus money. They give you a check <laughs> for um, a, nice little, a nice little cash bonus. And in addition to the cash bonus, they also give you a product credit, a very large product credit. And so my pre-order was sponsored by my million dollar achievement. <laughs> and everything that I'm showing you tonight and tomorrow, I paid for tax and shipping and that was it. So <laughs> I know it's overwhelming to see all this stuff all at once. And I just want you to know you don't have to buy it all and you don't have to buy it all at once. So pace yourself. Don't feel like you have to get it all right now. I would say when it comes to the colors, choose Choose your favorite, you know, choose maybe the colors that go with designer paper and slowly add new colors to your collection that you like. Now, if you have, if you have the, the budget to buy them all at once, then awesome <laughs> in the new catalog. And during the pre-order right now, you're going to see, um, you're going to see packages or bundles of the new colors. That's the new, um, the new and returning colors. I'm going to show you those next. Um, and so you can get a bundle that has all the new color ink pads, all the new color ink refills, all the new color markers um, and cardstock. You can get an assortment of all the, the new color cardstock. So if you have a budget, if you have a, a limited budget for stamping stuff, I recommend getting an assortment package of cardstock for the new and returning colors. And that way you just have a couple sheets of each color so you can kind of play see what they look like in person, see how they compare to the other colors that you have in your collection, um, and then go from there. And like I said, slowly build as your budget allows. Okay, so these new markers, I decided I'm going to end up replacing all of my markers. And so instead of getting the collection of new markers, I am gonna just hold off and get all of the markers again as my budget allows. Um, let me bring in let me bring in a current marker. So this is Poppy Parade. I just pulled it from my collection. I want to show you the size of the markers. So the new markers are just a little bit longer. Okay, very, very, like not that much longer, just a little bit. Um, the marker barrel, 
that's the middle part is longer definitely longer so if you can see the the cap here is shorter than the previous cap which makes the barrel longer um, and the big difference though so the old marker we have a brush tip and a fine tip for writing and mostly i say like i don't know i never use this tip honestly but on some of my markers that tip is kind of um, dried out i don't like it just dries out easily the new markers have a brush tip and a bullet tip so instead of that fine tip we have a nice bullet tip for um, a much um a much thicker line okay so these are all the in colors again i got the the in color markers and so i recommend if you just want to see what you think of the new markers just start off with something like this just start off with the new colors and kind of get a feel for it um but i i think i'm really going to like that new end and then with a the longer barrel i think that just means there's more color um, the cartridge for the color is just going to be longer and have more ink in it. So that's really excited. I'm excited about the new product design on these stamp and write markers. Now the stamp and blend, the alcohol markers, those have not changed. They're the same, but I just wanted to share with you the stamp and write markers, and they are going to be available in all the colors, all the core collection, um, in this new design. So if you choose to replace them all, you can, if you just want to get the new colors to go with your old style of the other colors, you can do that too. Uh, all right. Are you ready? <laughs> that was the 2023-2025 in colors. I'm loving them so much. I'll be doing um, some product shares. I'll be posting some information soon on the product shares. And um, you will be able to get like an in color product share that's got some of the, the in color products like designer paper, ribbon, um, embellishments, things like that. So um, watch for product share information after tax day because again, that's my priority in the next two weeks. I gotta get that done. We're jumping now into the core color collection for Stampin' Up. Now, um, you'll notice if you look at the chart that some colors have kind of moved around a little bit. Like our neutral colors, um, we're losing a few, but we're bringing in Blackberry Bliss, which was in a regal, so we're bringing it up. We're bringing back Misty Moonlight. Now, I didn't bring color comparisons for Misty Moonlight because this one just retired last year, so I feel like you guys are pretty familiar with Misty Moonlight and probably many of you already have misty moonlight um that's going to be up there with the um the neutrals let me just really quickly show you um the doo -doo -doo -doo, um night of navy with misty moonlight beautiful together very beautiful okay so neutrals we're losing soft suede which we're so sad about but we're gaining pecan pie so here's pecan pie the brand new neutral color in the core collection and since we're losing soft suede let's take a look and see how soft suede looks against pecan pie pecan pie is definitely um, brighter i would say has more yellow in it um and soft suede is um a, a bit darker so you might then say well how does pecan pie compare to cinnamon cider which was an in color with misty moonlight so cinnamon cider is brighter i would say has more yellow in it um another retired in color is baked brown sugar and that one is um I don't know, even lighter has even more yellow in it. It kind of just looks really like clean against pecan pie. Um, so I think pecan pie is a really, um, a really rich color. Like I, I'm, I'm really kind of digging it. Um, here is how it's going to compare to some of the other current brown colors, crumb cake and early espresso. So it is a lot different and I think fits very nicely in with crumb cake and pecan pie. It's gonna be a nice middle or medium brown um, to have with early espresso and crumb cake. So there is pecan pie. What do you guys think of that one? Um, do you do you like it? I think it's really beautiful. Um, and I was kind of I was kind of bummed about soft suede, but I'm really feeling good about pecan pie. Oh, creamy caramel. That's a good one. Um, Felicia, I don't have any creamy caramel um, samples to show you, but I think that creamy caramel was a lot closer to like crumb cake and Sahara sand. It was much, much lighter. Um, 
Tip top taupe, yeah. I don't have creamy caramel. That would be another one. If anyone has creamy caramel, I would love for you to send me just a half sheet of cardstock. You can even fold it in half. Um, if you've got it, that would be totally awesome. That was that's an old one, creamy caramel. I'm <laughs> back from the earth elements um a long time ago. I don't keep I should have kept them all along and I just didn't think about I didn't think about it back then. <laughs> um, okay, that's our first one, and that is the um, the sort of neutral color. So that's the only color that's new in the neutral color line. And um, just to show you again, in case you're just joining us, um, I wanted to bring in the new um, copper clay and pebbled path from the in colors. So even even the new copper clay is there's definitely a difference there more more red but i think they're gonna go well together oh close to cocoa that's another that's another one i don't have i would say that that this is um lighter than close to cocoa close to cocoa is kind of like a um a light or faded chocolate chip if i remember um right so it had definitely had more um like red in it okay our next color family that we're going to talk about is going to be the subtles um, so we're going to talk about the new colors in the settles. There are four returning colors, um, four returning and new. Two are returning and two are brand new. So let's talk about the brand new ones first. And maybe the one you are most excited to see, Lemon Lolly. I was excited to see this one because it's springtime. I need a good yellow. I'm quite sad about So Saffron leaving. I use so saffron a lot. Um, but I, I heard that there are some people not big fans of so saffron. Lemon Lolly has more blue in it, and definitely a lighter, um, I would say a more modern light yellow. Um, so here's what Lemon Lolly looks like next to so saffron. How many of you still have Barely Banana? Here is Barely Banana compared to Lemon Lolly and so saffron. Um, again, lo Lemon Lolly looks more blue, has a little more blue compared to the um, Barely Banana, I think and a, just a more modern, clean um, version of a light yellow. Really, really beautiful. Hopefully you can see these colors. Gosh, I feel like sometimes I just need to like reset the camera lens. Is it coming through okay? Hopefully the comparisons with this, the other colors really help. Um, really just gorgeous. Lemon Lolly, I cannot wait to play with this one. Another brand new yellow, or not yellow. And Oh, I was going to bring in other colors. What else did I have here? Pale Papaya, Daffodil Delight. They just don't compare. <laughs> but this is from the Brights, so that's they'll go nicely together, I think. But uh, there's more contrast between lemon lolly and daffodil then so saffron and lemon lolly and pale papaya is a retiring color right now and it's definitely more of a like a, a peach um color um yes i know janice says she wants something really bright yellow so daffodil is currently our bright yellow um and we did have what uh pineapple pineapple punch that was a woo that was a bright yellow <laughs> yo yo yellow uh, back in the day I don't know how that compares to daffodil here's pineapple punch that was a bright yellow that was too bright for me but I don't know it's kind of anyway we're not we're not getting pineapple punch back <laughs> I, I just had it to compare lemon lolly so so beautiful um I think I'm in love I'm not gonna lie um, another brand new color to our color collection is Bubble Bath, and it looks purple. <laughs> Let me show you Bubble Bath next to Fresh Freesia. Now, now Bubble Bath looks a little bit more pink. Fresh Freesia is a, they're calling it a returning color, but really it's just sticking around. It's a color right now, an in color, and instead of retiring, it's coming into the core collection. So we're really excited about that. I love Fresh Freesia. Here's what Fresh Freesia looks like next to Bubble Bath. Um, definitely Fresh Freesia is more purple. Bubble Bath is more pink. They're not that far from each other though. Let's rewind and look at Bubble Bath compared to some other colors. Here's an old one, Pretty in Pink. So it is more purpley than Pretty in Pink. Um, Blushing Bride is the color, the light pink that it's replacing. So um, it is not, 
Um, Bubble Bath is not Blushing Bride. Definitely more purpley than Blushing Bride. Um, and if you love Blushing Bride, make sure to stock up because, um, yeah, this is the new light pink. Um, Blush, Blush Blossom is an old one. And, oh my gosh, it almost looks white. Um, it is more of a very, 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 very pale, um, almost a peach color, I think. Here's Petal Pink, which is the other pink color that carries over. Next to Bubble Bath, it looks more pink, even though it is more of a peachy pink color. And then um, another one I wanted to show you was Pink Pirouette. This is a retired pink um and a lighter um a lighter lighter really light pink but um bubble bath next to it looks looks more purple um i think i i was expecting bubble bath to be a little more um i don't know somewhere in between pretty and pink and blushing bride so i'm i'm a little disappointed that is so purple um but I have seen this color bubble bath in some of the designer papers and it is so beautiful with berry burst, which is a, re a returning um, bright color. Let me bring in berry burst really quick and show you like, isn't that awesome? I love that. I love that combination so much. Um, so it's going to be, that's going to be a good one. Uh, but this is how it compares to the other pinks. It is, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, Michelle's saying, I'm so surprised the bubble bath looks so purple. I, I am too. <laughs> um, but I think, I think we're going to love it and, um, and we'll see. This is besides petal pink. Um, this will be the only other light pink that we have. Um, oh, let's bring in flirty flamingo really quick and see. Um, I got to see what pile that's in. Let's make a rose. Um, crisp. Nope. I don't remember if I pulled out Flirty Flamingo. I must have. Here it is. So Flirty Flamingo is a bright light pink, but um, it is, it's going to be a good pink for us. <laughs> it's going to save us, I think, in the brights. Um, all right. So moving on um, to... Fresh Freesia. I know that this is a current color, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but there it is next to Bubble Bath. Let's take a look at some other light purples. Fresh Freesia is one of my favorites. Uh, Highland Heather is another purple that stays around. So these three purples, oh, pink. <laughs> these three colors are um, rounding out the end of our subtles. So we've got Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather. All three of those are going to be in the subtles. Here are some older colors to compare to um, Fresh Freesia. And look at that. Here's Pale Plum. So Pale Plum next to both of them um, looks almost gray. It's so, um, so faded and pale. Um, and almost Amethyst. Remember that one? That was really very much almost a blue. Wisteria Wonder. That's another old one, very gray. Lavender Lace, um, really, I think, is more like the Highland Heather, closer to that. Um, okay, so I am happy. I'm happy with the three colors together. I think they're going to be really beautiful. Um, I prefer Fresh Freesia over Bubble Bath, but I do think that Bubble Bath next to other colors is going to look more pink. So we were comparing it with other pinks. How about when you put it next to Pool Party? It looks pink, right? So when you're pairing bubble bath with other colors, here, there it is with balmy blue, um, it definitely looks more pink. And that's always how we're going to play with color is the colors that we put it with. So bubble bath is going to be a nice pink when it's paired with other things that aren't pink and it will look more pink. Um, there are colors like that, aren't, aren't there? That like kind of morph depending on the other colors that it's around. And I think that bubble bath is going to be one of those colors that when we have it with other colors, it will look more pink. Um, and it, so I do think it's going to meet our light pink needs. Okay. Returning color, fresh freesia, lemon lolly, bubble bath. The other one that we've got coming back, which was an, an old in color is lost lagoon. Aren't those beautiful together? I mean, I'm kind of digging that. <laughs> Did I show you the front of the catalog? That's like 
lemon lolly, a bubble bath, a lost lagoon. I love it. Okay, so lost lagoon. Let's compare that to balmy blue. This is a current color pool party. I really like that paired together. The balmy blue and the pool party. I think those are going to be really beautiful. Um, paired with the Lost Lagoon. Here's some older colors. Do you guys have this one? Baja Breeze. I have Baja Breeze. Um, I used to have Baja Breeze walls. In my old house, I painted my stamp room Baja Breeze. I just love that color so much. That is beautiful with Lost Lagoon, but Lost Lagoon is definitely more green, um, and I think it's filling that green hole in, um, in the, the subtles. So for the subtles, we have soft, excuse me, soft sea foam and, um, and lost lagoon. Sorry, I forgot to grab out soft sea foam, um, soft sea foam and lost lagoon. Those are going to be our greens. I didn't think of lost lagoon as a green. I thought of it more as a blue. And so, um, that's kind of interesting. It's an interesting perspective to have Lost Lagoon be a light green. But I love the color and I'm really glad it's coming back. Uh, here's another old one, Just Jade. This one just retired with Cinnamon Cider last year. And um, Just Jade is definitely more green than Lost Lagoon. Um, it would have been a nice one to come back. I'm not going to lie. I did love Just Jade. Um, but I love... I love that Lost Lagoon is more of a um, subtle, more of a faded kind of color. So that's what Lost Lagoon looks like. And those are the four colors that are new and returning to our subtles um, color family. So I'm, I'm really digging them all together. I think they're so beautiful and I can't wait to play. There is a new designer paper, which I'll show you tomorrow night, that um, uses a lot of these new and returning colors, and it's going to be my favorite paper. I think it's so pretty. All right, next up, let's go into the brights, okay? So for the brights, oh, nope, I lied. We're going into the regals. Um, so the Regals has two returning in colors, Pretty Peacock and Blueberry Bushel. So we're going to look at those next. And the reason I wanted to look at those next is because I think that Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock, I think they go really nicely together. Don't you think so? Let me see if I can do a reset on the camera. Sometimes I just feel like we get this, this weirdness. Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon. Um, both of these colors are in that Hello Irresistible designer paper. So you may have gotten this and now you'll be able to get the cardstock colors that are in this designer paper. Super excited about that. The other colors in this paper are Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, Petal Pink, and some soft sea foam in there. Isn't that beautiful? Yay, welcome back. Pretty Peacock. If you don't have this one, let's take a look at what it looks like compared to some other colors. Here's one, Bermuda Bay. This is retiring this year, and um, Pretty Peacock is definitely more, um, more blue, more dark. Um, Island Indigo is one that we had a while ago, and so Island Indigo is, um, is brighter. It has more, um, what does it have more in it, yellow? More blue? I don't know. I prefer pretty, pretty Peacock, personally. Taken with Teal, that's an old one. <laughs> Do you guys have Taken with Teal? Pretty Peacock, I think, is a more modern um, version of a teal. Really, really beautiful. Some other colors to compare to. Dapper Denim. Um, so it's more green than Dapper Denim. And Pretty, or I'm sorry, uh, Midnight Muse. That's almost like a navy, but those are beautiful together, aren't they? Dapper Denim. And... Um, and Pretty Peacock. So again, I think Pretty Peacock fills a nice little hole. I didn't, um, I didn't prepare the greens. Maybe I should have. I think of it more as a blue, and I think that's why I didn't prepare the greens. But if you would like to see how it fits in with the greens, in the, um, in the Regals, I should have brought the whole color family out. Why didn't I think of that? In the Regals, we'll have Pretty Peacock with Old Olive. Wait a second. Those are both garden green. <laughs> old olive garden green and shaded spruce 
So in the Regals, the Pretty Peacock is really one of the blues um, or a, more of a green blue because next to the green, they definitely look blue. So Old Olive, Garden Green, Shaded Spruce. Let me bring in our new blue, new returning, <laughs> Blueberry Bushel. So next to Blueberry Bushel, Pretty Peacock looks more green, but next to the greens, Pretty Peacock definitely looks more blue. Uh, Blueberry Bushel is a returning in color. You guys might have this one. And um, it is a very, like, um, a very primary blue, I think. A really beautiful shade. Um, I would have thought that this would be in the um, the brights, but Blueberry Bushel is in the Regals, along with those greens I just showed you and Cherry Cobbler and Cajun Craze. Um, and all those. Oh, Buckaroo Blue. That's another one, Melissa. I don't have Buckaroo Blue. Um, that would be a good one. If anyone has Buckaroo Blue, please send me a little bit. Um, that might be closer to like Boho Blue. Um, anyway, let's look at some blues with Blueberry Bushel. Our current in colors, Orch Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky next to Blueberry Bushel. So I think Blueberry Bushel is so much more of a true blue, and I'm really excited to have it back. Uh, another current color, Night of Navy, almost looks black next to Blueberry Bushel. Pacific Point is leaving, right? No, yes, no, yes. <laughs> I'm so confused about Pacific Point. It is retiring. Pacific Point is retiring. Um, I'm going to try to reset the camera. <laughs> um, Pacific Point is retiring. So here you can see how it compares. Um, Pacific Point is so much more bright blue. We're going to bring this back out when we talk about Azure Afternoon, which is a new blue in the, in the brights. Um, and then I also wanted to bring out Brilliant Blue, which is an older blue. Um, and I think that blueberry bushel is more of a modern primary blue, whereas brilliant blue is just a little more dated in a, in a, in a primary blue. So I'm really, yeah, it was very close <laughs> as we're looking at those two together. Um, let's get rid of pretty, pretty peacock for a second. Um, they were pretty close. Brilliant blue was brighter. Um, and I think that blueberry bushel is more of a deeper blue. Did we compare it to dapper denim? Where did that one go? Did I just, oh, dapper denim. Did we look at dapper denim? Dapper denim is lighter. I think we had that one out with peacock. So that's blueberry bushel. None of these colors are current. Well, these are, nope, those are current. Um, so I think a very nice way that it fits into our current colors there it is. Um, so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel. Those are the two new um, Regal colors. And um, look at that gorgeous grape is moving to be a Regal. So the Regals will have Cherry Cobbler, Real Red, Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, Old Olive, Garden Green, Shaded Spruce, Pretty Peacock, Blueberry Bushel, and Gorgeous Grape. All right, let's keep moving right along. And the next one we're going to talk about is the bright color family. There are three colors to talk about here. Let's first talk about Lemon Lime Twist. Are you guys so excited to have Lemon Lime Twist back? This is a new bright. It's a returning bright. We've had it before. Um, and here's how it compares with Granny Apple Green. So it's going to be uh, more of a uh, more of a yellow. Where did our daffodil go? Let's bring daffodil back out. So daffodil, um, we'll have daffodil, lemon lime twist, and granny apple green are all colors currently in the bright color collection. So super exciting. I think this is a good, I think a good rundown of colors. I really love this. I am really, we might have to do, I'm going to pull out cardstock and we're going to have to do a rundown of the whole color collection for each family after we go through the new ones. Before we do that, let's finish what we're doing. Um, so Parakeet Party and Lemon Lime Twist. I think we brought out Lemon Lime Twist when we talked about Parakeet Party when it came out. Parakeet Party is an in color right now. So it's got one more year in the catalog. It's, it's pretty close to Lemon Lime Twist. I'm not going to lie. I think actually I like Parakeet Party better, but with these three paired um paired together i i like lemon lime twist to go with daffodil delight and green apple green i think those are really beautiful so 
those are all the greens, the yellow green colors that we have. Um, another new slash returning color, another returning color is Berry Burst. This one was an in color with Lemon Lime Twist. I think, wasn't it Lemon Lime Twist and Pretty Peacock and Berry Burst? Weren't those all in colors together? I think they were. And they're really beautiful together, I think. <laughs> um, okay, so which one are we doing? Berry Burst. And um, Berry Burst is taking the place of um, Gorgeous Grape, essentially, in the color lineup. So we've got our red, our pinks, and then Berry Burst is at the end. It's going to be um, more of the purple color in the brights. And we'll pull them all out so we can see them together. Um, but Berry Burst is more of the purple. But let's compare it to Melon Mambo and see what that looks like. Um, here's Melon Mambo. So next to Melon Mambo, it does look more purple. The other pink in the, um, in the brights is Flirty Flamingo. And um, one of the colors that's retiring right now is Polished Pink. That's retiring right now with the in colors. Uh, Magenta Madness is um, a retired color. This was a color with the Cinnamon Cider and the Misty Moonlight and the Bumblebee. Um, oh, yes, that's right, Tony. Thank you. Berry Burst was with Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, and Tranquil Tide. That's right. I forgot about Tranquil Tide. Powder Pink. That was such a good color. We needed that one to come back, didn't we? Um, okay, Berry Burst. Let's take a look at some other colors that are retired. Rose Red and Berry Burst. Berry Burst has more of a purple in it. Rich Razzleberry is retiring. That pairs really nicely with Berry Burst. And Blackberry Bliss is going to stay on. This is going to be in the neutrals. It almost looks black, doesn't it? Um, so Rose Red and Rich Razzleberry are... Um, well, Rose Red is already retired, <laughs> and Rich Razzleberry is going to retire, um, and so we'll have all of these colors to go together in the new, in the new color family. That's Berry Burst. Um, I like Berry Burst. I think it's a good one. A brand, brand new, new, new color, not returning, a new color is Azure Afternoon. What do you guys think of this one? What color do you think that um what color do you think that Azure Afternoon looks like? What should we bring out first? The first one that I thought of is I want to see what this looks like next to Tahitian Tide. Tahitian Tide is a current in color. Um, so it's got one more year left. And um, Azure Afternoon is darker, um, quite a bit different than I thought it was going to be um, compared to um Tahitian Tide. So I think they pair really nicely together. The other one I wondered about is how close is it to Tempting Turquoise? <laughs> yes, Melissa. Here's Azure Afternoon next to Tempting Turquoise. So it's more of a, I would almost say like a country blue almost. Um, Tempting Turquoise is was so much brighter of a color, but Azure Afternoon, it's still a bright, but um, I think it's, it's, um, I think it's more like toned down. I don't know. Again, I keep I keep using the word modern, but um, I think that it is a more modern like um, turquoise. Pacific Point. Pacific Point is so much darker than Azure Afternoon, um, and so there's there's not really much of a comparison there. There's Blueberry Bushel. So Azure Afternoon and Blueberry Bushel will both be colors together in the new core collection. I think that they pair beautifully together. And let me bring in um, the Boho Blue, which is an in color. So Boho Blue um, next to Azure Afternoon. Holy cow, <laughs> that almost looks gray next to Azure Afternoon. Um, on its own, it looked so nice and blue, but next to Azure Afternoon, it just looks so washed out and gray. So Azure Afternoon, um, darker than Tahitian Tide. Uh, it's just a different tone than Tempting Turquoise. Um, not as dark as Pacific Point. How about some, some other old ones? Ballet Blue. You guys remember that one? Um, let's get a little closer look at Ballet Blue and Azure Afternoon. Um, I think Ballet Blue has more like um, red in it, more purple. Um, 
I prefer Azure Afternoon. Again, I think that Ballet Blue is kind of dated, uh, but if you have the two colors, that's how they compare. Um, another one I brought in was Cool Caribbean, which is so, just so like Coastal Cabana, another retired color, just more green in it than the Azure Afternoon. So I'm really satisfied um, with Azure Afternoon. I think this is really beautiful and a nice addition um, to our color family. Let's take a look at all of the brights together. I wish, I'm sorry that I didn't do this for each of the other colors, color families. We'll go back and do it really quick. So um, let's start at the top. For the brights, we have Poppy Parade and then Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo. Oh, Pumpkin Pie. Uh, pumpkin Pie moves to the brights. That's going to be the orange that we have. And then we're going to have some Daffodil. Using my cheat sheet. We're going to have some Daffodil Delight and some Lemon Lime Twist and Granny Apple Green and Azure Afternoon and Berry Burst. Oh my goodness. Do you love this rainbow? <laughs> I really do. I think this is a nice looking color family. Pumpkin pie almost looks too dark next to them, but I, I love it as a bright green or green, bright orange. I think it's beautiful. This one's not labeled. Sorry. Poppy Parade, Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, Granny Apple Green, Azure Afternoon, and Berry Burst. This is our new Brights collection in the 2023 to 2024 annual catalog. Leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think? How about those new brights? Missing Coastal Cabana. You're right. Am I missing Coastal Cabana? How did that happen? Where is Coastal Cabana? Where is Coastal Cabana? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, it's not behind me. Hold on a second. Good catch. Thank you so much. This fits in right in there. Ooh, even better. <laughs> Coastal Cabana. I love that. I love that. How did I miss that? I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for catching that. Um, yes, I think the brights are uh, one of my favorite. I just love the way they all look together. So beautiful. Probably the one that I use the most, though, is going to be the Subtles. So let's take a look at the subtles next. Um, we're going to start with Petal Pink and then we're gonna do Calypso Coral and we're gonna bring in Lemon Lolly. Ooh, 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 <laughs> I love that. Soft Sea Foam, Lost Lagoon, Sorry, I don't have some of those labeled. Um, pool party. I have so many color samples around, it's crazy. Pool party, ooh, that looks nice. Balmy blue, that's next. Highland Heather. Highland Heather. There it is. And then we come back to our Fresh Freesia and Bubble Bath. So here are your settles. Petal Pink, Calypso Coral, Lemon Lolly, Soft Sea Foam, Lost Lagoon, Pool Party, Balmy Blue, Highland Heather, Fresh Freesia, and Bubble Bath. What do you think of the new settles? And yes, Sharon Blushing Bride is leaving. It is retiring from our color collection. Make sure you get your favorite retiring colors um, as soon as possible. Stock up on ink refills, stock up on cardstock because they are selling quickly um, and I feel like they won't last long. Yeah, Blushing Bride, we're gonna be sad. It's, it's I, I didn't think that I would miss it, but I think, I think I will. Yeah, Bubble Bath does look purple, especially next to Fresh Freesia. But when we did this earlier, um, remember how suddenly it looked more pink? <laughs> um, so true. Okay, those are the subtles. Really beautiful. Some of my favorite colors. Next, let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the Regals. 
And um, what do we have? We need, I gotta find some of these colors. We need to have, we start with our cherry cobbler. Okay, cherry cobbler. There's cherry cobbler, beautiful dark red. Cherry cobbler, real red. Then we're gonna bring in Cajun Craze. Let's find it in our stock. Cajun Craze. And after Cajun Craze, we have crushed curry. And after crushed curry, we have old olive, and then garden green, and then some shaded spruce. Which shaded spruce? That one's shaded spruce. Um, next to shaded spruce, we're gonna put some pretty peacock, then blueberry bushel. And then this one's so weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not used to, I'm not used to this gorgeous grape in the regals. You know what though? Gosh, I love it. So there's our regals. Sorry, they're not all quite labeled. Let me go over them again. Cherry cobbler, real red, Cajun craze, crushed curry, old olive, garden green, shaded spruce, pretty peacock, blueberry bushel, and gorgeous grape. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, you guys leave a comment. Let me know which color family do you prefer? Do you prefer the brights, the subtles, the regals? This is this is my jam. <laughs> the regals. I think the subtles I use the most. You know what? It just depends on the season. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Um, okay, but I, I'm more drawn, I think, to the regals. I just the richness of these colors. So beautiful. Um, okay. Our last color family is the neutrals. Oh my gosh. Am I making those dots? Um, our last color family is the neutrals. So let's do that next. Um, our neutrals, it's really interesting. Tell me what you guys think about this. What do you think about the neutrals having, um, colors <laughs> like misty moonlight and mossy meadow and um blackberry bliss and night of navy um do you think that those colors are neutrals do you like that we have colors like that in the neutral section um i kind of do i think that they can be neutrals paired with other things um so we kick off with some we kick off with some of the colors then we've got early espresso we're gonna bring in the new pecan pie oh my gosh that is kind of delicious um crumb cake gray granite smoky slate and basic gray okay so there's our neutrals I think a little non-traditional with the colors. Mossy Meadow, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Blackberry Bliss, Early Espresso, Pecan Pie, Crumb Cake, Gray Granite, Smoky Slate, and Basic Gray. I'm going to separate the, the Gray Granite and the Smoky Slate with Basic Gray because I think those are so similar. Oh, I'm excited about pecan pie. I think this is going to be a really good one to have um, in our neutral collection. I think it is just the perfect medium brown, and I can't wait to play with that some more. Okay, you guys, we are at the end of our video. I feel like I've been talking forever about color, but I'm so glad we were able to break down these new colors and compare them to other colors. I love to see how they all look together. Um, and I think hopefully these comparisons will help you um, figure out how well the new colors are going to fit into your personal color collection at home. Um, this chart is something that I posted on Facebook. I'll put it on YouTube as 
as well in, in the community postings. Um, so you can check it out there. Um, I honestly, I think it's a good thing to print out and kind of have just as a guide as we make this transition with the new catalog. All the colors that I showed you that are new and returning are going to be available in the 2023 to 2024 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. If you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order right now during the month of April 2023. If you're not a demonstrator yet, but you cannot wait to get your hands on new colors, then it's time to sign up. <laughs> I'll put the link in the video description so you can check out more information about joining as a demonstrator. If you are a patient customer who will wait until May to shop, ordering starts on May 2nd. If you don't have a catalog, um, you'll be getting one in the mail from me soon. If you're a customer who's ordered in the last 12 months, and if you're not a customer of mine yet, it's not too late. You can get, <laughs> you can shop in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Use host code ATGTKRS6 in April. There's another host code out there that starts with an H. That one works too, either one. Um, but if you, if you order more than $150, don't use the host code. Keep those extra rewards for yourself. The last chance list is happening right now with crazy discounts. Literally 250 items are marked down up to 60% off. All of the pink lines on these sheets are discounted products. I'll have the link in the video description so you can check out each of these lists. 60, 60, 50% off. Insane. Make sure you shop early for the very best selection. Tomorrow night, I will be live for Thursday night stamp therapy at 7.15 p.m. Central Time over on YouTube. Fingers crossed we don't have any problems like we did last week. I'll be sharing the products that came in my pre-order. So we're not going to talk about color tomorrow night. We're going to talk about new stamp sets, new designer paper and other new products that I was able to order. So be sure to tune in um, for that video tomorrow night. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have listened this far, you're amazing. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up or a heart on Facebook. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook so you don't miss out on new posts. And subscribe to my channel over on YouTube so you don't miss out on paper crafting videos. Tune in Sunday, Sunday stamping at noon central time. Mom and I will be sharing some more projects with retiring colors. Um, one last hurrah, one last party for those favorites that we're going to miss so much. Have a great night and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.